Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Through the Ashes with me, Bring It On. So before we go back to the graveyard and deal with the ghouls, I do want to make camp and rest. But even I'm before on. that, let's see what's on the second floor. Hopefully, it's nothing hostile. I want to move a little faster there, buddy. <laughs> I like it. We have no chance against this bonehead. Looks like you did just fine. Never mind, he stood right back up. Fifty-three HP. But the game offers a solution. Gotta run him over with a cart, which is guarded by some archers. To a bandit conjurer. Not looking forward to fighting that guy. Also, was that a crypt we can enter? Here's that jerk that's raising the dead. It's a rope we can use. Oh, okay. So we go up and around this way, and come down, we can use a rope to climb down and get behind him, and drop the statue on top of him, and squish him. Because he's a level 8 sorcerer, and we're not really in a position to fight that. So what if these ghouls are here by default, or if they only spawn once a wall is knocked down? Now I'm willing to bet... Based on our experience with the cubes and the undead previously, we can bait the undead and the bandits to fight each other. Got to figure out how I'm going to do that. All right, some more holy water and other items. Let's go and move these boards out of the way. Looks like it opens this up for us. All right, let's go back to the church. I'll give him all of these. She can have all of these. His Divine Zap can't miss. He does decent damage without needing bombs. I mean, she just misses often. And he has Disrupt Undead, which hits plenty hard. I don't need to supplement that damage with bombs. So... We'll keep it like that for now. Let's go ahead and make camp. Let me check my spells real quick. So in a position where every single hit point we have counts. So I'm going to go with the heal. Alright, uh, let's check in with our companions. I don't remember Vamir being in this state. Langrat was. I thought Vamir was fine. But Vamir is cradling his crippled hand. Well, what do you say? Think we'll make it? You know, I really don't fancy dying. Especially not in this place. How are you feeling? A little off. Vamir wipes the sweat from his brow. I think I might have caught something. Hope it's not dangerous. I can't give him my potion. I still have it. Sir? Brody hunches his shoulders nervously, his eyes darting back and forth. How are you feeling? I'm alright, I think. I suppose my liver's acting up, but that's old news. He looks healthy enough. The road ahead is arduous, but Abadar willing will walk it to the end. How are you feeling? Same as before. A good day to you, if such a thing can still be had in the city. How are you feeling? Can't say I'm in the best shape. Hope it passes soon. He's trying to hide it, but he's obviously unwell. 
Can't give him the potion either. Alright, let's rest up. We need our grease spell before we can do anything. Alright, so he can't scribe scrolls. Uh, let's put her there. Uh, we'll... I want my meal, so I'm going to put him on this, and then camouflage will be up to him and a main character, I think. So I actually think the spicy pastry is better here. Since we know that we can de-aggro enemy mobs, all we have to do is break line of sight and just out outpace them for a while. So I think this bonus movement speed is better than the skill check bonus. Let's do it like that instead. And rest up. Some folks like nothing better than creeping into some crypt or a bear's den. Or whole bristling with spikes. And yet here I am, alive and kicking. Sometimes when you go looking for trouble, trouble goes looking for you in the wrong place. The two of you never meet. I feel inspired. Please let me play for you and for the good gods that were worshipped in this temple. So he gave us Holy Litany. The Divine Music has given you strength. You get a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls. Let's head out. Battles await! Alright, I also want to pop one of these. These last an hour per level. So I don't have to worry about it wearing off quite yet. Alright, so Bamir and Langrat are both in worse condition now. Uh, how are you feeling? Real lousy. Bamir is breathing heavily. His brow glistening with sweat. I can't even say how much longer I can keep going like this. Alright, so they have to be in a certain condition before I can give this to him. I give a potion of lesser restoration. Drink this. It'll make you feel a little better. Phew. Yeah, that does feel nice. Thank you, friend. I guess I'll live a little longer. Alright, let's quick save and go pick a fight. I know I can help. I shall not fail. No time for standing around. Let's stray up from the shadows. The road awaits. I shall not fail. Losing my temper. Our duty calls. You're not half bad. I'll protect you from all harm. Mm -hmm. Be careful, everyone! Spell's not working like that. Attack! It's you or me! Let's hear you cry! Alright, focus the next one down. I'll cut you! So much easier with a, uh, free spell. <laughs> Aim carefully. 
Oh, we got paralyzed. It only lasts a few seconds. Oh, that's right, my mage armor wore off. I can equip armor now. We'll save everyone, no doubt about it. All right, that's a pretty good fight. Things definitely went in my favor. I'm out of sessions. Must be. I'm gonna go scout out these zombies and bandits we saw up here. And see if I can make them fight each other. I think if I shoot the bandits and then run away. I can force them to fight. Oh. This fight won't be my last. Fight each other. I don't think we can win this fight. <laughs> That's why they have the cart there for us. You're not a threat. You're an obstacle. Run them through. I'm gonna do this so I have to keep opening up this little spell menu. Forwards! Learn from Oh, I got hit by my own grease. Well, that's a reload. Okay. Made a small mistake and it turned into a big mistake. Yeah, we cannot fight that guy. I'm out of sight. Like that. Strange as it sounds. In fact, it might be better to just squish him with a cart before I do this other move. Agreed. Right, there he is. Let's not aggro him. Hey, that's one scary enemy. I doubt there's anyone in my in my party he can't one shot, or would one shot. You're not a threat. They think us easy. Oh, I'm sure to kill that guy. Wait. Be careful, everyone. Run faster! <laughs> Clever tactics now. Alright, looks like the combat log has calmed down a bit. Let's go see what happened. Looks to me like the zombies didn't even get a swing in. They just got pelted by the alchemist, who is hopefully out of bombs. So that's your plan. How close are we to leveling up? Uh, we're getting there. Maybe one more major objective. Okay, that's the corpse they're munching on. Got a health potion and a rope. Eyes on the goal. It'll come in handy. I'm going to save these bandits for later. I want to take care of the skeleton in case we have to kite back. I don't want to accidentally pull that guy into my party. I could probably take him on if I had a potion of enlarged person or something like that, but I do not, so... That's not going to happen.
Our duty calls. That is a really good heal. We must act. Once he goes down this way, I'll push up this way and see about pushing that cart down to him. We have a rope for this. I don't know if we're going to find another one or not, because I used another rope for those potions back there. And I'm assuming we have to make choices. I don't think they're going to give us enough rope to do everything. I really want to fall behind this guy. Something's wrong. I've survived worse. My mission has ended in failure. Crap. Double crap. So they... So zombies spawn up there too. Maybe I do have to pull down that pillar. I think if I pull down that pillar and go around, I can kill those archers without the zombie spawning. Now the other concern is accidentally aggroing this guy. But I assume if we aggro, he's going to start spawning undead around him. It's like a very corpse snatcher thing to do. <laughs> so... I'd have to go this way and do this real quick. I'm gone. Quick save. Be careful, everyone. I'll stop you. Um, let's do this. So far, so good. Learn from my mistake. Well, they're not good. But I've seen worse. Actually, you know what? Don't cast that. We're going to do this instead. So I think what you're supposed to do is lure these guys into the trap. Archers. Don't quote me on that. I don't know if traps trigger on enemies here. None shall escape. Oh wait. I should pull these guys into the trap. Ha! Aim carefully. I took a small hit there, but we came out on top. All right, some ingredients. Fantastic. Using clever tactics now. I sent him back to scout out where this guy's at, so we can push the cart down on top of him. No one stands in right, he's my right way. there. Battles await. I guess it doesn't really matter, as so long as he's 
yeah. If you see him right there, that's fun. All right, we did it. A masterwork earthbreaker and some scale mail. He gets the scale mail. He's got pretty good armor class now. I suspect he could probably take most of the uh, zombies we come across. I'm out of sight. Let us bide our time. <laughs> That was a really good heal as well. Follow my steps. We should prepare. We must act. The cart is full of decaying corpses that emit a disgusting stench. Oh man. <laughs> Alright. Throw grease back here. I mean, we have to pull back. This conjure is gonna mess us up. From my mistake. Nope. All right, pull back. Uh, he's faster than we are. We have to stand and fight. It looks like. Aim carefully. Let's hear you cry. You're going down. <laughs> no holding back. Nope, we gotta reload that one. Okay. Well, shoot. Alright, let's dig up the grave first. And then I'll worry about clearing the bodies. We have to time the body clearing so that that one guy doesn't see us. None shall escape. Attack. Some stuff we can sell at least. Uh, I'm gonna click on this again real quick. To have it having been read. If I remember right, there's a couple of skeletons over this way. If it's just two skeletons, it shouldn't be a problem. Our duty calls. Be careful, everyone. Attack! Aim carefully. Of course, there's more, so let's drop a... Reese back here. Keep doing that. Forwards! My mission has ended in failure. No, this can't be happening. Terrible throw. All right, put myself in a really bad position here. Oh, but we might have this under control if we get lucky. My wounds pile on. Oh, good. 
got you! See what we can do. You're not a threat. You're Send an obstacle. Through. Yeah, this uh, DLC is starting to get a little dicey. <laughs> My mission has ended in failure. Oh, I forgot to go open that door. That's the reason I fought those ghouls. And I didn't Out do it. My way. I'll cut you. You guys really need to land your hits, if you don't mind. Okay, it wasn't pretty. What are we doing now? But it's done. That's more junk we don't need. Using clever tactics now. I'm out of healing, aren't I? Our duty calls. Yep, once again out of healing. <laughs> it sucks, it's hard to tell where it's actually safe to go or not because zombies will just pop up out of the ground. Or in that case, skeleton. Oh boy. All right, let's go back and open up that door that we found. That's the whole reason I fought the ghouls. Let's see what's behind it. So we need to go back and check that out real quick. I mean, I feel like we're making good progress, but at the same time, I feel like I'm not. <laughs> Follow my steps. That's a hard thing to gauge in this DLC. Let's head out. I mean, if I wasn't so set on fighting everything, I'd probably be doing fine. But every enemy we come across is guarding something, and I want that something. Oh wow, 40 minutes. That probably doesn't bode well for us. Nope, that was worth it. 100% worth it. Alright, so she gets that. Uh, we'll give her Karth this ring, I think. Actually, no, it's probably more important that she stays alive. I'm going to give it to her instead. Then what I can do here is give her a dagger and a shield. I don't like the medium encumbrance, though. A little bit of armor class is going to go a long way.
We should move. That's the wrong way. Let us be careful. Oh, shoot, we're all fatigued now, too. All right, so assume we can sneak past this warlord. We know there's a thing of loot up here, right there. Let me check the crash site down here real quick. It's possible this knocks some loot loose. Nope. Okay. I'm gone. Well, darn. And we also lost that buff that Langrat gave us. I'm out of follow my We'll save everyone, no doubt about it. So against the bandits, I need to try and get him close enough to use our prismatic or sorry. Scroll of color spray. Not prismatic spray. Let's see if I can't stun them. I gotta do something with this. Nope. Oh, okay. Let us be careful. I'm out of sight. All right, so I'm gonna park it right here. Uh, next episode, I guess we'll try to sneak past this warlord and see what this loot is. I don't see us being able to fight this guy unless they give me a tool to do so, of course, which they, they tend to do. Uh, but for now, I'm going to call it here. Our next episode, we'll see if we can't make some more progress. I'm not sure which path I'm going to take first. Uh, we still have the bandits back there to deal with. The warlord here and the bandits to our left right now. And I guess we'll go from there. So I think we can, ac oh, we can access this. So we should probably do that first. And then I'm tempted to take out these bandits first. And if I can get my sorcerer close enough to use prismatic spray, or even my main character, honestly. Since he should be in range regardless. I'm gone. And I really enjoy the tension that this DLC is creating. <laughs> like every decision I make. I mean, there is some RNG involved as well, but for the most part, every decision I make has a lot of weight behind it. Like, I'm currently out of um, holy water. Which presents a problem. Follow my steps. Alright, let's see what we can do with this. Yeah, I do think this is better than this. Though, last time we did this, it fatigued us. So I think this is probably the better option. And we can grease this here. I mean, we could grease this as well, but... See, so yeah, I can grease this, hide around the corner, and as they come around, use prismatic... Sp or, I keep calling it that. Uh, color spray. And see what we can't do. Hope for the best, I suppose. By the way, I'm going to call it here for now. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.